the hybrid push-up pull-up test. This event gives Marines the option to do either push-ups or pull-ups. All Marines are encouraged to do pull-ups as this is a better field test of dynamic upper body strength. Additionally, maximum points on the hybrid push-up pull-up test can only be earned by doing pull-ups. Prior to the hybrid pull-up push-up test, Marines will indicate to the monitor if they will attempt pull-ups. If pull-ups are selected, Marines will be tested on pull-ups. If Marines are able to do the minimum amount of repetitions or more, the performance will be recorded and this event is completed. Push-ups. This is a two-minute timed event and can be conducted either indoors or outdoors. Sweatshirts will be removed during the conduct of the push-up event to observe full extension of the arms and upper arms above the elbow parallel to the deck. The preparatory command is ready and the execute command is begin. On the command ready, the Marines will assume the front leaning rest position by placing the hands in a comfortable position on the deck. On the command begin, begin the push-up by bending the elbows and lowering the entire body as a single unit until the upper arms are at least parallel to the deck. Then, return to the starting position by raising the entire body until the arms are fully extended. The body must remain rigid in a generally straight line and move as a unit while performing each repetition. The feet may be together or 12 inches apart measured between the feet, but may not be crossed. When viewed from the side, the body should form a generally straight line from the shoulders to the ankles. If the Marine fails to perform the first 10 push-ups correctly, the scorer will tell the Marine to go to the knees and will explain the deficiencies. The Marine will then be sent to the end of the line to be retested. After the first 10 push-ups have been performed and counted, no restarts are allowed. The test will continue and any incorrectly performed push-ups will not be counted. An altered front-leaning rest position is the only authorized rest position. That is, the Marine may sag in the middle or flex the back. When flexing the back, the knees may be bent, but not to such an extent that the Marine is supporting most of the body weight with the legs. If this occurs, the Marine's performance will be terminated. The Marine must return to and pause in the correct starting position before continuing. If the Marine rests on the ground or raises either hand or foot from the ground, the performance will be terminated. The Marine may reposition the hands and or feet during the event as long as they remain in contact with the deck at all times. At the end of each repetition, the score will state the number of repetitions completed correctly. If the Marine fails to keep the body generally straight, to lower the whole body until the upper arms are at least parallel to the deck, or to extend the arms completely, that repetition will not count and the scorer will repeat the number of the last correctly performed repetition.